What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a seven of eight players in the Q Vintage Cube draft. Seven of eight players in the cube. Here we go. You know, eventually. What's it going to be? Time walk? Time walk sounds good. Let's first pick a time walk. I will also accept Ancestral Recall. Okay, I see. Fourth Irlingus it is then, I guess. Okay, Magic Online, you win this round. This is a good pack though. It has a bunch of a bunch of different flagship cards like Coveted Jewel, Omnath, Chandra's Great. I like Snapcaster, Spellseeker, and Caryatid. Um, Dark Depths is interesting. Yeah, we're just taking the Lingus. <sighs> good times. Get busy, Lingusin. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. All right, what do we got here? <clears throat> People passing a ponder, a metamorph. Archon, Foothills, probably just taking Foothills here. It does search for our little red. Lauren is good. Aspirant is fine. I don't know if I want to commit to any of these cards, though. I'm just going to take Foothills because it's nice and safe. True Name and Gristlebrand. That's interesting. Got a Territorial Kavu. There's a Eugene. That Stuart would tell me to take if he were here. If he were here today, you know. God rest his soul. <sighs> I don't think I want double blue true name with wooded foothills and fourth ear lingus. I'm leaning towards oracle or mentor. I kind of like mentor because it does trigger off the lingus. And it's, it's on color. You know? It's on color. A lightning bolt is good. That's just a solid... That's just a solid little card, you know? Skyclave Apparition. I actually might like that better than Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt is cheap, but Apparition just hits so many things. I'm going to take the Apparition here. Uh, Grim Monolith seems great with 4th Eurolingus. Okay, we'll take a Grim Monolith. If Reprieve or Magda come back, I'll be okay with that. That was a fifth pick monolith? Kids these days have no respect, you know? No respect at all. There's a little scrub land. Spara's headquarters is just for, uh, just planes. <clears throat> Can't get a scrub land with a wooded foothills. Tempted to take Battle Sphere here. Gruel Turf also interesting. Battle Sphere. What does that even do though? I mean, it's colorless. It's the only other than Usher or Earthshaker Kenra. It's like the only card that feels like it's good here. Plus, we could just be like a ramp deck. I'll take Battle Sphere. I would also splash for like a Tinker. Green blue, huh? Fascinating. Samwise is okay. I actually, we're just taking Parallax Wave. I feel like I overlook Parallax Wave a lot, even though I do know it's powerful. We're going to take Parallax Wave. Oh, a Braid seems... Oh, Palace Jailer. We're definitely taking Palace Jailer here. That's fantastic. <laughs> also, a Braid and Trumpet and Carnosaur, I think, are both really solid picks, but I'm just going to take Palace Jailer. I just went 7-2 with a 61-card mono green splashing black and red. Could I link to the deck list? Uh, I mean, you can, but it's not going to let links go through. I personally don't care, but I'd, I'd have to change the settings somehow <laughs> in order to link it. Okay, carry out. It came back Omnath. I kind of like Omnath here, to be honest. I kind of like carry added and maybe leaning into Mardu. 
like again the ramp feels good when we're when we've got these guys could just be Thraven inspector too yeah i'll just oh luminar aspirant came back that's pretty nice all right so like we're very very solid oh uh Embreath shieldbreaker is actually ain't nothing to scoff at you know Get here 10 minutes late and already late. Yeah, I did a pick a minute. You just didn't know. None of these cards are exciting. I'll take the Raging Ravine because we do have the potential to splash green. Yeah. I don't want to brag, but my PPMs are pretty good. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. Interesting. I mean, the thing is, you can just actually play Questing Druid as a as a, as a an instant, really. It's a two-mana instant that lets you look at those two cards. I, I don't even think you need to be green. Antibody, thank you for the gifted subs, my dude. Really appreciate it, buddy. Dude, that's awesome, man. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> I was like, oh, Athari is sick. And then there was an ancestral recall. Oh God! Thank you. I have absolutely no way to splash this. Thank you. Oh, I see it. I see your little link. Andy, have a good night, buddy. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were saying, oh, I thought you were saying you were logging off. No, just me? Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> oh, God. It's Ancestral Recall, right? I don't know. I mean, Othari is better for our deck. It, we can cast it. You know, that's that's an important, that's an important part of a deck. Being able to cast the the cards. Misty Rainforest. Now we have... Oh, Misty Rainforest doesn't do it. I was thinking we were Teamer for some reason. We're not. We're like Jess guy. So that's... It's not great. Uh, Zerda is infinite with fourth. And it helps us cast Battle Ball too. And Grimmauld. Grimmauld is what I meant to say. Yeah, I'm thinking the Zerda here. Oh, what's up, Buckwild? I do hope either Othari or um, whatever the other good card in that pack was that that I was that I was. Oh, the Volcanic Island would be great. Wow, two two premium dual lands here. Neither of which is great for us. Actually, I mean, Tropical Island. We can get it with Wooded Foothills. Is that terrible? I think it's just Guardian Scale Lord, though. Guardian Scale Lord can get back a lot of good things. I, I like Guardian Scale Lord a lot. Tropical doesn't do anything for us. It lets us get a green source that's also a blue source, which we don't really care about. Guardian Scale Lord has just really impressed me every time I've had it. Breeding pool. 
Same argument, as, it's just a worse tropical island. Definitely taking Fury here. That seems like a banger. All right. I, I feel like our deck is pretty strong right now. I just kind of want to find a way to cast this guy. Othari is game winning. Ancestral is game winning. My deck is capable of casting one of those two cards. I'm going to put this over here for now. The thing is, the potential of casting Ancestral is high enough where it's like, yeah, it's worth it. You ready for Madam Web in a couple weeks? Buddy, I'm never ready for any any Sony Marvel movies. <laughs> what do we got? Hollowed Fountain. Hollowed Fountain is pretty good. That kind of does the thing that we want it to do. <coughs> Man, we're not really giving up much either. Flame Slash? Yeah, I'm going to take a Hollowed Fountain. It would be great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If if one of the last three cards is Spire Bluff Canal, like I, I think that would be actually the, the perfect scenario. The Tobey Maguires are fine. The, the Andrew Garfields are fine. The Modern Eras... Not great. Oh, a plateau. Plateau is MVP because it actually lets us get both our... It turns our wooded foothills into a dual land. Okay. Brazen Borrower. Brazen Borrower is probably the best pick in this pack. Unexpectedly Absent is kind of okay. I don't care about Burgi. Golos is not going to get us anything exciting. Golos could just get us a Hollowed Fountain. Brazen Bar, we're not going to be able to cast. I think it probably is Golos, actually. Was there a Rogren Triome in the last pack? Is that true? Did I miss it? I think I was so blinded by the plateau, maybe? <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to take Golos here. Deserted Beach? Hmm, I do like Touch the Spirit Realm. <clears throat> but this helps, again, this helps us cast our... Our Ancestral with very little, uh... Oh, Council's Judgment came back? Oh, yes, please. Um, I'll take a Wrath. i probably even play a Wrath. Maybe? Could take a Prismatic Ending. Now we have th at least three colors. I think we are kind of more of a control deck. I'll just take the Wrath. I'll take a Steel Seraph as well, sure. Uh, I don't think we're Coligons commanding. Dang, that's sad. I'll take Oust, I guess. Don't love it. Don't know if I care about Brea's Apprentice either. That's true. We can wave our dudes and then and then wrath. All right, so it looks like nothing that we wanted came back. I'll take an Ulamog in case we get through the breach. Oh, look at that. I put the, the Lingus in the board. Yeah, I don't know why Soulscar Mage is in here. <laughs> it does not seem very good. Oh, the One Ring? Hmm, that's a... And a Fractured Identity. Oh, boy. Fascinating. I think it's One Ring. Fractured might come back. <clears throat> fractured is nuts, but so is One Ring. Oh, there's a Through the Breach. Also a Teferi, but I'm, I'm honestly not looking to increase the number of blue cards in the deck. I think I just want Through the Breach here, and then hopefully we can pick up, like, an Emrakul. We did pass Atraxa and Gristlebrand. I have not seen <clears throat> Archon of Cruelty yet. I like Alalia. Taiga is interesting. No, it's not great. 
Um, Portal of Phyrexia doesn't do it. We don't have like a Tinker. Yeah, I think we're just taking the good Lelia. <clears throat> Breach is only a creature. I don't know. Our deck's looking pretty good. <clears throat> if that Sunbaked Canyon comes back, that'll be nice. If we can get like a Sacred Foundry, that'll be nice. There's an Emrakul. That's nice. If this Talisman comes back, that would be cool. I'm going to take out the Wrath for now because I don't... Th I think with the Lelia, we're kind of leaning heavily, more heavily towards... Uh... Yeah, now we have Ulamog and, and Emrakul. That's pretty good. <clears throat> I would like a fetch land that can get blue. So either like a scalding tarn or a flooded strand would be would be fantastic. Flames on Kavu just seems fine. Actually, Oliphant, uh, Oliphant is good if we can get, like, the Volcanic didn't come back. I don't know if there's a Steam Vents floating around. But it would be nice if we can get a Blue Land. Also, Flame Tongue is just good. I'm going to take the Oliphant <clears throat> and assume that maybe the other one comes back. There's a channel, which is interesting. Especially because we have Battlesphere, Ulamog, Emrakul. <laughs> I don't think we're channeling at this late juncture, but a lot of good green cards here. Channel, Delighted Halfling. I guess, actually, I can take Elspeth. Elf Elspeth seems fine, right? I think this is justified Oliphant. <laughs> it's, it's a good question, though. Solid, solid question. <clears throat> I kind of like Luris. Wedding announcement's also fine. I think we're just taking Luris here. I don't think we have a lot of things to get with Luris. So maybe we're not taking Luris here. Who knows? I don't think we're a Stoneforge deck based on having zero equipment. I think we also do need some cuts here as well. This is 25. Yikes. So I'll just take the Luris because I think it's just better to have. <clears throat> Probably play Timeless Dragon over Oliphant. Sunbaked Canyon came back. That's nice. This is also a mountain forest plains that we can search for, but we already have Plateau. So getting the um, forest part is not really super. D Danny Cordray on the office. Oliphant. <laughs> oh, man. Man, Timothy Oliphant's been in it all, dude. Oh, Restless Bibwack. Okay, so our, our blue our mana base for red white has has gone up. This is 26 cards. I don't think we're playing Luris. This is a good two drop. <clears throat> I don't think I'm playing Earthshaker Kenra. Need one cut here. I could see cutting Golos. Super Fritz doesn't want to hear it, but. Taiga, Bayou. I don't care about any of these cards. I'll take the Taiga. Uh, what have I done? Oh, staff came back. So did Intrepid Adversary. Intrepid Adversary is pretty good. Are we a token deck? What's making tokens? We have Monastery Mentor, Elspeth. Um, fourth, obviously. Uh, staff could be better here. Timeless Dragon does make tokens. Yeah, all right. Oh, figure comes back. Okay. Well, I don't... <clears throat> 
I didn't count fourth year Olingus because I figured if we're casting fourth year Olingus, we're probably just winning. Thraven Inspector does make a token. Is it token or token creature? Oh, it's one or more creature tokens. That's good to know. So clue tokens don't count. Let's get rid of Heart of Kieran. This is 25 again. Great. So we basically just added staff. Oh, Urstigger Kenra. What? I thought I cut that guy. Oh, I cut Shieldbreaker. I think both of those are... Mm, Shieldbreaker is actually pretty decent for the main deck. I might... I'm going to cut Golos. <laughs> He's got to go. Like, the, the problem is that he, he just gets kind of like a basic color here. Uh, what if Foothills doesn't get... <sighs> Guys, I might cut Ancestral here. Two blue sources for Ancestral doesn't feel great. And like, this is a solid 23, I think. How many, how many situations am I just going to be sitting there with? Like, if we had a fetch land that could get a blue source. <clears throat> so Timeless can go in the two slot, presuming that it's going to fetch us a... I mean, alternatively, I can cut, like, Through the Breach, Lumog, Emrakul. Bring back, like, Oliphant, Figure of Destiny, Ancestral. Nah, that doesn't seem great. What I could do is bring in Taiga, Raging Ravine, and Blooming Marsh. And then just play Golos and, and try to activate him. Timeless Dragon does fetch Hollowed Fountain. I actually remember mentioning that, and that's a great point. So, Ancestral's back on the menu, boys. Are you saying... Did you, I, I, did you use the, the greater than, less than correctly? Are you saying Ancestral is worse than Thraven Inspector? <clears throat> you maniac. Fury feels meh? I don't think so. That seems... You seem meh. <laughs> I think Zerda seems more meth than Fury, but Zerda actually has, we have three, four different things we can use infinite mana with. So if we happen to go turn three monolith, turn two monolith, turn three Zerda, like we can cast any of these. Maybe not this. We'd have to do that turn four because of the color requirements, but Steel Seraph seems weaker than the three drops, but I think it's just a six drop that, again, can, you can cast with infinite mana. It seems fine. I think a 5-4 flyer that has lifelink and gives other creatures lifelink or vigilance or flying is pretty good. It's lifelink, right? Is it vigilance, flying, and lifelink? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Maybe we just play 41. Sure. It's been a while. All right, sort by color. We're definitely more white than red. So what is this? Three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Could definitely cut one of those. Add one of these. So this is actually fine, I think. This is... Do we even need a, an island? I don't think we need an island because we can't search for it. If we could search for it, I'd be like, fine. But this is like, right now this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 white sources. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 9. That seems pretty good. What the hell is a main board? Antibody, this one's for you, but <laughs> it's like a surfboard. I will play first. Oh dear. Um, 
any land we get to cycle this and then we have ancestral and we have grim monolith is that good enough oh boy i don't know i think we might have to mulligan this the combo what what's the combo is it timeless dragon and hollow fountain <laughs> Uh, Alan says keep? Wow, that's actually kind of surprising. I did not expect Alan would say keep. Interesting. All right, I'm going to keep it because of Alan. So if we lose, I blame Alan. AKA Asian Mike. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime, buddy. Anytime. I'm here to... I'm here to give the people what they want, you know? All right. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to assume when I can open them. I'll just, I'll just guess after a certain period of time. Is now okay? Oh, God. Huh? Whew, okay. Not bad. Okay, that's not what we wanted. I, I, I feel... I feel a little bad now. We've made terrible choices. And now we're gonna get now we're gonna get punished for it. <clears throat> okay, they put that into play tapped, which is great for us. Just great. Okay, we gotta they didn't attack. That's great. Everything great. Land. Beautiful. Okay, I feel like we're in it. What can they possibly do against this? If we just top deck through the breach, the game ends. <clears throat> okay. Okay, another one drop. Got it. Feeling good. Feeling good about our chances here. Okay, you ready? That's not it, but it's okay. What is the play here? <whistles> Taking a lot of damage here, we'll play this guy. And then next turn we have Ancestral to try and hit while also Grim Monolithing uh, for, while also keeping Grim Monolith up for our, so we get to look at four cards next turn, four out of 30. What is that? It's not going to be four out of 30. It's going to be one out of 30, then one out of 29, then one out of 28, then one out of 27, right? No, maybe? Fuck, math is hard. Oh, I don't get it. It would be four out of 30, right? Oh, shit. I don't know. What? Wow, this is aggressive. So they're going to make Kithian a guy. So I'm definitely just going to trade here because they're just going to make him indestructible. I'd rather just eat this guy. Shua Garner said Thraben crack clue, but that would literally require us to tap the Grim Monolith, which doesn't seem great. Okay, they got a mother. Okay, come on. Come on, Papa, Papa Miracle. Come on, I'm looking, I'm, 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 fe I'm feeling it. That's not it. Okay, we're going to do it. Okay, let's hear it. Let's let's hear it for the boys. Okay, still not it. Still not it. You're just giving me junk. Um, I think we can play one ring here. Maybe staff into one ring. Cause this gets tapped, but we'll have three more looks by next turn. I think that feels okay. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> what do we got here? Another planes? Okay, so now we just have through the breach mana, and we get to see three more cards next turn. Three out of 25. <laughs> and we have a clue. However, the clue will not count. That's fine. I'll attack Gideon. Okay, we're taking one. Oh, that's sad. That's fine, I guess. Watch, yours are going to be right here. It's ready? It's going to be right at the top. It was not. I feel a little better about that, I guess. Okay. Um... What do we got? Five mana. We can Skyclave. Do we draw two? We take two. They don't really have a ton of stuff out here. I think we just Skyclave the Gideon. They can't give it pro, right? It's not a creature. I guess we'll check. We can't cast non-creature spells, right? We can still cast creatures. Come on. <clears throat> I mean, we're going to want to draw two, right? That seems fine. Ah, there it is. All right. Well. We'll just say next turn it's going to be good. Because they have no pressure right now, and our spirit doesn't have to attack Gideon. So, yeah, I guess we're just passing. And then next turn we'll throw the Breach. Our baby boy. Mm, okay. I guess we're going to do it again. Sure. Do they know what's happening? Oh, our opponent's in our chat. So that's, <laughs> that probably explains why they're doing what they're doing. That makes sense. It's always good to be in your opponent's chat because you can't win cube matches without sniping. Doesn't seem super obvious why you would range your Captain of Eos if you weren't like aggressively playing around through the breach. Okay, well, they're not doing it now. So that's interesting. Maybe they're not sniping, but they're just in the chat? I don't understand. Like, just being in the chat is so tilting for, for streamers, dude. <clears throat> Especially when it comes across as like, is this pro, pro white? Sure. All right, well, I assume this is probably gonna... Yeah, I, I, I have to re retract my sniping comment, even though they're in the chat, because you just wouldn't let this happen, I guess. Take two, sure. This is 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm just gonna attack with Emrakul here. You got it. Yeah, this is what I actually assumed they'd do because now they're just going to have this guy with Jitte on it for the rest of the game. Which is not great, especially when we have one ring. Uh, 
<sighs> yep. Like they just give this pro white and attack us. Yep. Yeah, so I mean like we're just we were just a little too far behind for it to matter, but So now we're at 3, we take 2 from one ring. Pretty sure we can't actually win this game. Skyclave Apparition gets rid of one ring, fascinatingly enough. Um, might as well draw here. Oh, is it? does it not? Is it opponent? You don't control. Okay, so it doesn't get rid of that. That's good. Um, yeah, all right. Well, I guess we die to our own one ring. That's unfortunate. So, yep, cool. Love it when your opponents are in the chat. It's always a good feeling. Uh, all right. Good times. Yeah, like we just play Seraph and they just don't play anything and then we just they just pass and let us let our ring kill us. Yeah, I'm like, I'm half tempted to be like, any reason you're in the chat, uh, you know? I think Asper, I think Asperin's probably worse than Sure. What did Foothills one one land again, huh? I'll keep this because we can get plateau and Thraven Inspector. And it also lets us shield breaker like a Jitte or something. This is very similar to the first hand. It's not the worst. Not the best, but not the worst. I think we're going to restart after this. I can feel a little bit of lag, but nothing like Magic Online used to have. Sure. Probably just taking this. We can block next turn. Hmm. Fascinating.
<laughs> okay. All right. I will decline to play Emrakul. Oh, they're no longer in the chat, so they either left when they were called out or they just logged out so that it wouldn't show their name. So, hard to say which. We'll see how aggressively they play around Wrath. I don't really want to go to nine here against the mono white dick. Zip Fizz. I don't even know what that is. Well, my plan was to Ancestral into, uh, to Wrath into Ancestral, I think, which, which I think we're probably going to do right now. Parallax Wave. We have seven. Interesting. I don't think that's good enough, unfortunately. I think we just wrath here. Three, four, five, six, seven. We can wrath Ancestral and kill their guy. Get mother of runes. Hmm. That seems okay. All right. Where's fourth year lingus when you need it, you know? Crack that ranger. Yep, there it is. <laughs> that's fine. I have no spells, so. Oh, that's pretty interesting. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, two here. Yep, sure. So, I don't think I'm drawing two here. I think I'm content with just having the one. Like having a divination sitting there. Yeah, of course you have Frodo. Of course that's the last card in your hand. Yep, you got it. Can't block Frodo. But on the bright side, Jitte is gone. Now they get Mother of Runes. That's obnoxious. I 
That is Samwise. You're right. Dang it. Uh, can I not block because that's a ring bear? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I've seen one, two, three, four, five. The only new cards were Thalia and Luminarch Aspirant. But otherwise, it's the same like five of seven cards. They're going wide here. Sure. That's fine. I like my hand is all is all creatures, so it's not a it's not a thing. One, two, three, four. not attacking here because they have no cards in hand and I'd rather not uh, have them attack and get the monarchy plus preserving our life total seems a little important when we're at 8 so they have a clue so they have one card and one clue Now they just have two cards. Wasteland, sure. You got it. It's a good dude. That might just kill us. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. Oh, we could have just won if we just played Elspeth and killed them, right? Yeah, I don't know why we didn't do that. That's embarrassing. Good gravy. I can't believe we did that. Well, we voted for their guy, so they kind of have to vote for their own guy. Wow. That's a that's a that's an American psycho reference right there. Yeah, that was just me playing that was just me playing uh kind of loose and also it once you see someone in your chat, you just assume they're watching you the whole time, and it makes me really uncomfortable. So I make way more mistakes after I know someone's in my chat or has been in my chat because it's just fucking tilting. Wait, what? What else did we exile? Oh, they voted for warrior token. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, I mean, I'm still going to play Elspeth. We fucked up. We'll own it. It's correct. Could have won. Didn't win. It happens. I'm not going to make a worse play because I fucked up and I don't want to, like, admit it. Like, it's fine. We messed up. We gave them an extra turn. And it was our fault. Okay. I mean, I still think I, we want wrath. We they took out the wrath because we uh, we restarted. Let's take an aspirant for that. Oust might not be terrible to just slow them down a little bit. I 
I mean, Luris might be better than Mentor. Uh, turn one figure, I don't think so. Battle Ball seems good if we can stabilize or if we can get infinite mana with Zerda, but I do think it might be a little too expensive. I could see just playing Luris as a, as a body to gain some life. Yeah, let's do that. That seems fine. Um, this is not terrible. Three mana. We got a Wrath. We got a, a Destructoid. I'll keep it. I think this is probably one of the better openings we've had without Grim Monolith in it. Okay. You got it. Also, they have Wasteland and we just played Basics here. That's pretty good. I guess we can get another, another Basic. Yeah, that's fine. Obnoxious, but fine. I would almost rather Jitte here because then we can just kill it and play our guy. Nice. No need for... No need for non-basics in this world. That was a good draw because we can't get a, a, a basic planes with wooded foothills, so. Taking five, going to 12. Like this, this hand might've just been too slow to be honest. <laughs> sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we go to three. That's well played. Hmm, that's annoying. Guess we'll play this guy and this guy. All right, well. Oh, I guess they didn't get the extra guy from winning out some because they got, uh, they, they attacked with two creatures. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you go to two. Sounds good. Yeah, pretty sure we just lose this game. This this start was a little too aggressive for us, and we had literally no plays before turn four. So they pump this guy. We take six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe eleven if they do it right. They have to put the counter on the flyer, which is pretty easy to figure out. I guess it was not as easy as I thought. We have a stay of execution, boys. Now we only take 10 and we have enough mana to... Oh, we, we, we still die to Sunbaked Canyon if we don't hit a regular land. So, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, we just drew nothing before turn 
four. So go to one. Get a plateau. It's not what I wanted, but that's fine. I guess they can only kill. Oh, all right. Well, live to fight another day. So they can make a guy. Well, they still have four cards in hand, so. Definitely an uphill battle we have here. Yep. Yeah, as long as they have more than one creature, we're, we're just basically dead. Yeah, that's going to be the end. Cool. Yep. Seems good. All right, let's see if we can get an opponent who is not in our chat. Keep. Go this guy, we can cycle Thank for... Oh, it's Alan with a gifted sub, appreciate you, bud. Oh, good, here we go, here we go, it's all happening. I subscribed during an ad break, but then I thought, does Frank more more off of me watching as or by me subbing. Always by you subbing. It takes an, a, a, probably an astronomical amount of ads to equal like one sub. I don't, I don't think that was a bad keep. What, didn't we? I don't think that was a bad keep. I think that was a totally fine keep, dude. Definitely do not blame you for that one. Also, I take responsibility. If I keep... I'll, I'll jokingly blame it on you, but it's my, it's ultimately my choice. Adstronomical, that's very good. I don't like it. I love it. Really? I don't know what to make of this fast spawn, overgrown tomb, triome, mountain, dragon rage channel or deck where they just didn't attack me right there. What's going on? I guess they, I mean, I guess you can edict like that because you're like, okay, everything they're going to play is going to be um, a creature, right? So like, we either get rid of this, we're, we're never getting rid of a better creature than this, but then again, you can still hold it for like a non, a non, -cre non token, a, a token creature or a planeswalker. You just got rid of a reanimate spell and a bone shards. Now they're attacking, but not last turn. Last turn they played this guy, I guess, right? I don't know what's going on. Everything is a blur right now. I feel like I'm in a I'm in a fugue state. Oh my god, where are my th where are my three drops at? He says before casting a three drop. So they have two cards in hand. Um, give it lifelink. Vampiric tutor sounds good. Don't know what they're... They're keeping something on top, but they're also searching their library, so. They want it in their deck. What if Helen's gives... It didn't. It went to NPAC. N-P-A-K. Thankfully. That would be hilarious, though. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, that's... It's pretty good. All right. Well, at least we have a decent hand, thanks to Wheel of Fortune. They got rid of a Liliana and a Restless Vents. So they netted five cards. We netted like one card. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. That Shieldred's Edict makes a lot more sense when like your plan is to literally dump your hand. Do you have six spells? 
Uh, yeah, I'm just taking that. If we get a Grim Monolith, we can just slam down a Scale Lord to pump this guy to a 4-4 four four and then just get back Palace Jailer. That seems pretty good. We did not do that. What can we do here? Definitely giving a lifelink. We could just play Lelia as well. I was in the kitchen. What went to me? <laughs> a gifted sub. So, you know, congrats. <laughs> oh, I just stepped out for a second. Someone, someone call my name. Can you guys see who the gifted sub goes to or is that just me? Just is just on my end. It shows up in the chat for me, which makes sense because, you know, I should probably know. But So let's give lifelink to this person. God damn, Ulamog. What are you doing? You idiot. Okay. So long, Ulamog. They're also at eight. Elspeth might just win us the game next turn. Utamog, a classic. A classic Chion. Oh, good, a Caracas when we have a Lelia. Don't like that. Shoulder's Edict. Oh, I guess they didn't, it didn't shuffle, so. Bitter Triumph killing Steel Seraph, sure. Discard a bat, great. Get rid of the Lelia. Bounce it to my hand. Do it now. They didn't do it now. Well, Krakus is a little biscuit. I feel like just playing Fury here is probably good. We'll attack first. We'll see what happens. We already played a land. They're not going to let us... Yeah, that's what I figured. Because Guardian Scale Lord with Fury is probably just going to win the game. Uh, Dunzo. All right, they have four cards, we have six cards, we have a Fury, we have a Hulk. Oh, look, they also have a Grim Monolith. Good old Grimothy. Which version of the Wonder do you have in your paper cube? I have the extended art version of this one. I like this art the best. I feel like it just pops. I love the the colors in this one. So I just got the extended art. I don't like, I don't think the borderless one's great. I don't like the one that you can't read. Fury is the flame, flame tung, tung from the French. <laughs> That's le flame tung. That is uh, Le Flame Tung, huh? I would like to put the counter on the Fury. See if they let me do it, you know? No? No. You gonna counter this? You're gonna repeat? No, you're gonna do something. Sh sure. But now I just get to put the counter on itself. Okay. Yeah, all right. I mean, you should let me chose. You should at least let me target the Fury, and then you could do it, you know? But you don't want to do that. The 
this guy doesn't have this guy's not a legend he's a legend in my heart but not in the game if you crack this now you're dead on board so what could go wrong you know I wish they tell you what they get with martial arts because if you look away you don't get to know it should say like what is it? Uh, mountain is put into play with marsh flats. My friend said that this art of the one ring reminded him of the power. I asked him about the arrows. <laughs> this, this one ring really reminds me of the babe. What babe? Oh, the babe with the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Who do you do? Do what? Oh man, they're just killing themselves. They have one card in hand. What could it be? Eight mana? What is this? Okay. That doesn't kill us though. I don't get it. I mean, this was cute and all, but come on. You have no cards in hand. Did they hope it would math differently? Do I even show Ancestral? Like, we went on board, right? They have no mana, no cards. They get a card, but they have no mana, so. Okay, yeah, all right. I'm like, I don't need to show this. Literally no one in chat said, remind me of the babe. That's really sad. I expected remind me of the babe from you guys. I got nothing. Right, I'm like, my goal is to be able to court. I can't be bothered to proofread. Me and my attorney, Kika McJeekum, are suing for libel. Is it because I made fun of your spelling of tongue? It's like when people spell rogue, rogue R-O-U-G-E. And I'm like, oh, it's a rogue. I think we're just good. Touche. Yeah, they're probably in the chat, so they were like, I know about that recall. I mean, if it's a chat regular, I'm not expecting them to do it. If it's someone I've never seen before, I've never heard of them watching my channel, they've never said a word in the chat, and you randomly show up during our match and then disappear during our match, you're fucking sniping. Hit the bricks. And if you're not, my bad, but also your bad, don't be in a streamer's chat while, they're, while you're playing them. It ain't cool, bro. I guess we pitch Battle Sphere here. Yeah, okay. Okay. We have Hollowed Fountain, so we can just go get a plateau with our boy. Now we're looking for that that grim monolith. Of course, this card's fairly obnoxious, but we can cast Ulamog to destroy it. Then they bounce the Ulamog, and then we just play it again. You know, assuming infinite mana. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Jumping Jiminy. Oh boy. I hope they tap. Oh, they didn't do anything. Okay. Okay. Big Zerds. Okay, they're going to let me do it. Now I have enough mana to actually repeat the cycle. So I can do it again. And then tap it. And then do it again. Yep. They waited too long. They should have done it after the first iteration. Now I have enough mana to do it infinitely anyway. Small issue, but a, but a really big. Like that changes the whole course of the game. Because if you do it after the first one, well, next turn I would have enough mana to do it. You only need to have like one extra mana.
So I do want to make sure we have enough for like to untap again. Because we can also play Steel Seraph, right? So. So we just need 13. Oh, we have to wait till the stack resolves. So I guess we're just gonna do this ad nauseum, unfortunately. Can I repeat it? So we click one, two, tap, click, one, two. Tap, click, one, two. I gotta get the pattern down so it's less obnoxious. This is like channel, but less, less painful. So I want to have 19. Okay, so we'll let this resolve. We still get to untap. Play this guy. Get rid of the Caracas. And just cast Steel Seraph. Great. And I'll cycle this guy. To get a plateau. Beautiful. I just wasted a mana. What an idiot. I'll give this guy uh, Vigilance. Sounds great. Your turn. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Ambitious. Man of ambition. This is nice because even if they did manage to play like Shoulder's Edict, we can just uh, sacrifice the Steel Seraph. Bone Shards? Dark Ritual. Oh, fuck. Are they doing something cool? Man, I'm excited. Bone Shards the Seraph. Inquisition, okay. Vampiric Tooth. No, that's not. What? No. What? They did a lot. That was a lot. Looting into Ritual into Bone Shards into Inquisition into Tutor. Like, that was a turn. Ulamog's better. Okay. Here we go. Little, uh. That's good. I like this hand. They get to go first, so we're crossing our fingers that they play an artifact on turn one, and then we just go kapa, you know, something like that. Slowest diapers, most misspellings. Oh no! <laughs> uh, uh. It's getting hotted here. Flame Tung and I are going first, I think. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. What's it gonna be? Hollowed Fountain? That's hot shit. I'll play that first. I do not foresee us Ancestral Recalling. We'd have to discard. We go up to nine cards. Next turn we go up to 10. We play one uh, land. We go up to it's nine. We play a creature. See, now I can kill this guy. And that feels correct. Or we can just play Aspirant. Aspirant probably better, right? So why did you play the man of the land that takes damage? I don't know, man. Let's see what they get. I'm glad it's not a May ability. Then I'd have to be like, would you like to use the ability? Use the ability? I'm like, yes, I'd love to. Sounds good, thanks. Oh, that guy's a pain in the ass. No, don't like that. Hmm. Do like that. Okay. So I think our plan here is to shield shield breaker. Cast battle display on this guy. I will pay the one. It's already in there. It's already in the gas tank. And then we'll ancestral. Probably now because I don't want them to have like hull breaker and hull breacher hull breacher in response. I don't want them to like counter it. We'll add a counter to this guy. And now we have seven, they have three. We can untap and play fourth Irolingus if we really want to. Not, it's kind of dangerous because they're just gonna get back the, the monarchy every turn. Pump 
punch that shift. I'd like dude the cha cha hull bencher. I think I think antibody is having a stroke if someone could check on him. All right, and big zerds. Awkward that we don't have another land. Uh huh. Could have played Lelia and, and held off on this uh, attack with both. I don't want them to start drawing cards though, so I'm am tempted to Skyclave the Rebel token. That feels correct. Oh, it's non-token, so I'm not doing that, actually. I'm just getting rid of the Mirrodin, I guess. Okay. I mean, it still prevents them from drawing, which is what I was looking for. Put a counter on you so you can block next turn. I smell rubber bands. <laughs> Dear God, he's, he's, he's getting worse. So they have two cards. We have a lot of cards. Yeah, I I, I, I do kind of wish that I did a Lelia this. Oh, well, never mind then, I guess. I guess we'll just get another mountain. Well, next turn being able to cast Fury and kill both of these tokens seems good. We are taking seven here, which is pretty rough. Oh, they're going to fourth year Lingus for two. No, they're going to Genesis Engine? Okay. That's fine. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Emrakul. So next turn, if they can't kill us this turn, which they have to get rid of this guy and crew this for eight and deal an extra four points, I feel like fourth Erlingus probably comes through. Yes, I did get around to watching the D&D movie and we thought it was great. Super enjoyable. And looking forward to the sequel now. So yeah, definitely... Pretty good in terms of in terms of game brand movies. Oh, they're drawing. Okay, good. Wow, that's a Oh, man. <laughs> Elspeth and Fury. Two great tastes that taste great together. If we ear Lingus, we'd have one, two, three, four. They would block these two. And then we'd take eight. So we were one shy of ear Lingusing. Man, Fury plus Elspeth is a, is a combination maneuver. Are they a Wrath of God deck? I don't know. It is a great way to get rid of the stupid... The stupid true name nemesis. Excuse me. So is Council's Judgment, though. I think our deck is good. I think it does cool shit. Crossing my fingers, you know? Okay, not the hand we're looking for. There was also a Seething Song. I just can't wait to see E and E. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Jeez. Oh, the prequel, the B and B prequel is actually it's it's two movies before, so they're kind of leaving room for the C and C movie as well. Uh, this is a keep. I kind of want to keep the monolith because or the the, the Ulamog because we do have Zerda in a deck, 
and that is infinite. I think we can pitch Scale Lord here. Because we don't actually have anything that's going to the graveyard for Scale Lord to benefit off of. All right, we'll just play that first. All right. I mean, Grim Monolith also puts us in a good position to draw through the Breach and Ulamog, so. I give this bid an F and <laughs> You can't give the bid an F and F when you're part of the bit. Oh, they didn't do anything there. Okay. Counter? No. The Grim Monolith stands. Any red mana for fourth year Lingus next turn seems fan fan fantastic. What was he saying? Nobody knows. Okay. Red mana? Ho ho ho, it's little biscuits. Do we play around like Days or Miscalc? They have six cards. That's a big oof, man. X is currently three. That feels. I guess we can play around the one. All right. I don't think it's resolving. It resolved. Ay, ay, ay. Well, we're going to swing with all because I feel like worst case scenario, we lose the monarchy for a turn, but. Oh, dear geez. Did not expect that to happen. I figured with six cards, no plays and two blue sources, that was going to get countered for sure. Oh my God, nothing again. What is going on? I can't imagine they have Wrath here. I think I'm just attacking with these three and seeing what happens. Yeah, I'm just going to play this and pass. Like, I don't feel like there's any incentive to commit further, especially when we can just untap Grim Monolith. I think they're going to go Resto. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay. Oh, what? They're not making a guy? That's interesting. I feel like they should have made a guy there, right? And then... And then they could have attacked with the guy to get the monarchy. And then they could still kill my guy on their turn. Okay. Dashing this little gremlin. Sure. I mean, we're just going to untap Grim Monolith. So we do get a decent bit of mana. They got Plateau, which is fine. We weren't going to... We didn't need that anyway. So we're gonna have eight, so we can play like Elspeth and Palace Jailer. Okay, sure. Okay. Well, we don't have Plateau, but we still want a second red source. So I think that's still fine. Unless we want to play double white cards. Which is everything in our hand. So probably not the best choice, but we can... I think we'll play Aspirant here. One, two, one, two. Elspeth to use the mana. But 
We're also at nine. So we can deal six in the air. I think we're just actually making a 1-1. One, one. I'm still attacking with two because I don't want them to be able to just kill my attacker and not get the monarchy back, which I think is this is fine. They go to six while we have Elspeth out. Get the monarchy back. This is fine. Like, I don't actually think it was worth playing Palace Jail or Council of Judgment this turn anyway. But they are doing something, apparently. Okay. They exiled Flooded Strand and Days. Totally fine. Those do not do anything. Yeah, I'm really actually speaking, Mark, speaking of, I'm actually kind of sad that Hugo Weaving like retired. He was so good in like 20 different movies in the in the late 90s or the I guess the early the the mid 2000s. We'll call it. And then he's just gone now. Um, Peacecraft, yes there are. I just don't know them off the top of my head to be quite honest. I do like the the blue white mana leak. That that card's pretty sweet. I'm gonna crack this now and just get a mountain, and then we're just gonna pass. Did not expect Wrath of God. They did not play Days, so I think they lose it. <coughs> Zerda one time. <laughs> That's what you do. That's how you do it. Actually, we have a bunch of white cards in hand. Let's use double red and white. I guess it's not going to matter because we have to commit two to untapping this. Really? Wow. That's, that's annoying as hell. I mean, we get Grim Monolith here, but what is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess we just hard cast Ulamog next turn, huh? So that's pretty good. Like we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, all right. Hard cast it is, I guess. You got it. You got it. Okay. Let's do this, take two, hard cast this guy. I guess we're getting rid of Ragavan. He does something, the other guy just a big fat idiot that I don't really care about. Give me that. Give me that monarchy. That's not your monarchy. Okay. Fashion late to the party, I see. And we have an Emrakul already exiled from the Ragavan. Hmm. Comically, we could have Staff of the Storyteller and then drawn a card off of it to hit this through the breach. Would have gotten, gotten a mana discount for that. Whose dog is that? Give me that dog. That's not your dog. Oh, they're digging. Literally. Because it's called dig, you know? You get it.
Give me that dog. Whose dog is that? That's not your dog. <clears throat> okay. This this is this is some digs, I think. I don't know what's going on here, but <clears throat> they pitch two lands. The path of ex the path to exile is gone. Okay. What if I just give float to this guy? Then what happens? Can I do it? Oh, we just win the game. All right, sounds good. I'll take it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You know how to. You know how it goes. Do the thing. Do the thing. Appreciate it. I'll see you next time.